Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm going to do a review of the Grovia hybrid system. So here I have the Grovia one size hybrid shell. I've got a Grovia organic cotton insert. I've got a Grovia stay dry insert. I've got a Grovia prefold. And I've got a Grovia bio soaker. So each part of this system actually comes individually but you can get them in packages. So I'm just going to go over some of my personal pros and cons of each and I'm going to start here with the one size shell. So I'll go ahead and unsnap these and as you can see we have 12 snaps for the waist and that's that's all we have. We just have that one single row. A lot of diapers will have both the uh, waist and the thigh rows of snaps but this just has the one so that's a little bit different. We also have the three rows for the uh, rise and we have the three columns and that's very typical of one size diapers. I'm just going to go back to the front here quickly and you can see we have the crossover snap uh, for the waist. So the smallest setting would actually be this would be um, slightly moved over and this would be crossed over. And I'm not a huge fan of crossover snaps, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, and we have these two wing snaps over here. And that's a pro for me. I like wing snaps. Um, on squirmy babies that are crawling around, these sides can kind of make their way down. But with these wing snaps, that just kind of um, holds those in place. So that makes that nice and tight. So if you were going to use this on a newborn, which I have... I have the rise all the way snapped down and the waist is crossed over. So I measured this waist to be about 9.75 inches and that's um, pretty comparable to the other one size diapers that I have. And these thighs get down pretty small. This fit my daughter around two and a half months, two and a half to three months, which was um, pretty typical for the other one size diapers. There is a little bit of stretch on here, so I could kind of, I could get a pretty good fit on her. But, um, so would it fit a newborn? It's, it's hard to say, but um, every baby's different. But for my daughter, she, it was around three months uh, before she fit into this diaper. So let's take a look at the inside here. As you can see, we've got two snaps. For the inserts, it's, uh, if you're going to use the, the Grovia inserts, and these snaps are not comparable, they're not compatible with other um, diapers. It's a different snap shape. So the typical cam uh, snap diapers would not, the inserts would not fit in there. But I love how the inserts uh, snap in. It keeps everything in place. On squirmy babies, things just shift around. So I love when the inserts can snap into the shell. So that's a big pro for me. Uh, if you can see this, this interior here, this is a mesh lining. It's very soft. And I love that. It makes it, these all these holes in here make it so that the water flows through very well. And it cleans, especially with my HE washer, it cleans so easily which I love, huge pro. And it also makes line drying uh, very fast. So that's a huge pro as well. A lot of times um, diapers will come with either a micro fleece or a suede cloth interior. And even though they don't have any absorbency, they can hold stink. But I find with all these holes, I can just get a very good clean with this diaper. So that's a big pro for me. This, uh, this shell is made of TPU. And a lot of diapers are made of um, PUL, and I find that TPU is just a little bit softer. It's kind of stretchy, like I said, which makes getting a nice fit um, a little easier. And it's also supposed to be biodegradable, so it's a little better for the environment, which is a huge pro for me. It also comes in adorable prints, <laughs> which does not help the function at all, but I just I thought these were adorable. Um, <laughs> So if you, and it comes in very pretty colors too, and pretty solids. So if you like that sort of thing, uh, that's a big pro as well. So I'm going to go over some of the cons. 
Like I said, the crossover snap I'm not a big fan of, and that's because it's just hard to get a good fit on my daughter. I'm going to switch over to this. My daughter has a, a tiny waist and bigger thighs, so when this is crossed over all the way, and her rise was about, you know, the smallest, these sides just really dig into her thighs because I have to pull them over so far. And that's the case with all of the crossover snap diapers that we have. They just end up digging so far into her legs. And if I tried lifting up the rise, you know, going to the medium setting, I'll just do those two, then I would end up getting leaks over here. And I, I think maybe if I had the extra, if I had the thigh row of snaps, maybe that wouldn't happen. But these would just make their way over and I would end up getting leaks. So it was just hard to get a good fit on my daughter. Also, as she's inching out of that position, there's nowhere to snap this top snap. There's a couple snaps to go before she'd be, if you consider that the extra small position. There's a couple snaps before she's going to be here at the small position. So I, I find that I always end up getting leaks under where I can't snap the top snap. I would even snap it, you know, so there's like a loop here. I'd do the wing snap, and then I'd end up getting this loop, and I'd get leaks under here. So for that reason, I don't, I'm not a fan of the crossover snaps um, either. And I find that they don't get any smaller here in the waist than the diapers that I have that, you know, this would be the smallest size that didn't have the crossover. They haven't gotten any smaller, at least in the ones that I have. So I'm just, I prefer diapers that don't cross over. Also, um, just I guess another con, since you could really use this cover with anything, um, if you were going to try to use it with a fitted, or if you were going to put a flat on your baby and put, you know, snappy it up, wrap it around your baby, um, this is a very trim diaper, which I guess I should mention as a pro too, because I love trimness. I really do, but if you were going to try to use it over something like, something a little bulkier, like a fitted or a flat, then it really wouldn't have enough coverage here in the back. Um... So depending on what you want to use this with, that could be a con as well. So let's go ahead and introduce this organic cotton insert. We've got the snaps here on the back, and this would just snap into the shell here. And this insert is 100% organic cotton, and it also has this waterproof backing. And this is the primary insert that I used until I developed stink issues, but I'll get to that in a second. I loved that this insert, I loved the absorbency. This insert is so absorbent. It's probably the most absorbent insert I own other than like heavy duty hemp inserts that I would use for overnight. Um, there's so many layers in here. It's so absorbent. But once my daughter started wetting more, I realized that more layers means harder to clean. And I ended up getting such terrible stink issues with these. I think these were the first to start to smell. Um, so I, I ended up, I couldn't use these anymore. They, I, I had to strip them like every week and it was ridiculous. The water just it couldn't penetrate all of these layers. Also... Uh, have, you know, having so many layers, this being so thick, it's so long to dry. This is the longest insert that I, um, the longest drying insert that I own. And that's primarily because these areas, this arc where it's sewn in, it can't get dry in here. So what you have to end up doing is you run it through the dryer once and then you have to kind of flip these inside out uh, and put it back in. And that was just I, I hated that. I wanted I, I like when they're all done at the same time. Um, it's a lot less expensive, certainly, not having to run the dryer as much. And I can only, if you were line drying these, I can only imagine. It would take longer than a day, I'm sure. But they are very trim. This is a very trim insert, and with this shell, it's just a very trim system for being 
a one size front snapping diaper. So, you know, there are definite pros to this. If you've got a top loader, it's, I'm sure, uh, not a problem, but we had to stop using these inserts, as I said. So, here is the stay dry insert, and this is 55% hemp and 45% organic cotton, and it has this stay dry layer on top. And like I said, I, I mostly used the organic cotton insert when I was using this diaper. Um, eventually, when my daughter's legs got so big, I had to stop using it anyway, just because she wouldn't, I couldn't get a good fit on her. But these inserts I never really had success with. I know some people absolutely love them, and I'm trying to figure out why they, they didn't work for us. They would always leak every time. And one of the differences between the organic cotton and this hemp, the stay dry, is that, see, these, these cotton parts of this insert kind of stay flared out. And on this, as much as I would try to flare these out when I put her on, they would always end up squished back in. So there wasn't any absorbency over here. And I also, just this being micro fleece on top, you really need compression to get the moisture to go through. And I, maybe a lot of times my, my daughter was on her side and the, the pee would just kind of roll off. I'm not sure if that was the issue, but like I said, we really didn't use these that many times. They certainly wash and dry a lot better. They're so much faster drying than the other inserts, and I don't really think I even had to flip them inside out. Um, so that's a definite pro, but like I said, we just, we got leaks with these, so I didn't use them that much. So here is the pre-fold that I own. This is a size 2, and these come in four different sizes. This is the second smallest. So I used this when my daughter was a newborn, and I loved it. It was a little bulky back then. I would just fold this down, and yes, it was a little bulky, but... I loved it. It's so soft. This is a bamboo insert and it's 55% bamboo and 45% organic cotton and I just, it's so soft. When I bought them I remember them being kind of rough and I was so disappointed but once you wash them a couple times they really soften up and it's, it's just so soft. <laughs> I've rubbed my face against it a couple times. <laughs> it's just very soft. So I, I love this pre-fold, and it worked so well when my daughter was younger and she wasn't wetting much, but once we started developing the stink issues, I stopped using this, and I honestly don't remember if we got issues, stink issues with this or not, but I knew, I mean, this is so many layers in here. It's more than six. I'm trying to count, but it's a lot. I knew this was just a matter of time, so... I, I ultimately just stopped using this. I'll use this for my next baby. Um, but I just know my HE washer would not have been able to clean this, <laughs> unfortunately, because I love this pre-fold. It's so soft. <laughs> um, they also make wonderful burp cloths if you wanted to use them as that as well. And this would probably be a good size for a burp cloth, the size 2. So that's the burp cloth, or the, <laughs> the pre-fold. And here is the Bio Soaker. And I have never used this, um, so I'm not going to really review how it works. I just wanted to, to break it out and kind of show what it looks like and how it sits in the diaper. It comes just folded up like this. And it's got this tape back here that you would pull off, and it's got this sticky back. So you would just lay this in here. And it has like this double gusset. It's got this area in here that kind of would, like a disposable diaper, would um, hold in the pee or poop. And I've, like I said, I've never used it, but I know people really love these. Um, I, I've heard they're very absorbent. Um, so I'm sure that that would work well for travel and things like that. These are compostable, so they're better for the environment. It's a great option if you're going to go a disposable route. Um, you could lay this in here uh, and just use the cover, reuse the cover. This would be fairly easy to wash, even just hand wash if you're on vacation. So this is a great option as well. So let me, I'll just go over some pricing. This is a 50 pack for $20. The pre-folds come in a three pack 
for $16.95, which is the same price as this shell. The organic cotton come in a two pack for $18.95, and the stay dry come in a two pack for $17.95. So, and, and like I said, you can get them in packages. Um, that's what I did. I got the Grovia part time package, which comes with 12 inserts and six shells. So that's what I did, and it was a little bit cheaper that way. So, like I said, it's uh, it, there's so many different options with this system. It really is a great system if you can get a good fit on your baby. Um, you, you can. There's so many routes you could go with this. So that's my review of the Grovia hybrid system.